Researchers in Minnesota have been hard at work developing a new weapon against the coronavirus outbreak. It's called an antibody test, and it could be a key to fighting the disease. But we wanted to dig into this and learn a little bit more about how they work, why they're important, mm -hmm. Heather, maybe we should just start with uh, what is it? What is right, an antibody exactly. test? Exactly. And so, what antibodies are, are if you've been exposed to this disease. Uh, the antibodies will appear in your bloodstream and essentially if you then get re-exposed again, the antibodies will neutralize and fight off that virus for you. I mean, think about how vaccines work. So this, the idea is that if you have gotten COVID-19, that you would not, you would then have some sort of immunity to it, whether it be short term or long term, or how much immunity we, you have is mm. still unclear. But the idea is you have some sort of immunity, so then you could go out and perhaps go back to work or helps help other people as they're trying to fight COVID-19. So what sort of information would this really give us right. uh, at this stage in the game? Because this isn't, this is more for like after you've recovered, right? right? Uh, exactly. So this is not that nose test or that yeah. throat swab test. This is a blood test. This is not something that can give you an early diagnosis like those tests can. This is something that won't appear in your body till a week or 10 days after you've been infected. So a lot of times when people will get these tests, it would happen perhaps even after they are recovered. So you wonder, well, why would why would you need something like this? There's actually a lot of uh, products like this already on the market, but part of it is it better gives us an understanding of how widespread the mm. virus really is. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. So uh, picture this: like we've been sharing these kind of numbers of confirmed positives. Well, what if? 10,000 people have already had this, right. didn't really know it. Mm -hmm. And if you could tell by detecting antibodies in their test, right. well, wow, that like opens your mind to all sorts of different mitigation options that mm -hmm. you could use, right? Absolutely. Areas to focus on, people that should be quarantined, people who shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Uh, my, maybe even other things that we haven't even thought of, right? That the Absolutely. researchers at the U are looking at. For sure, because if you look, if you look at COVID-19, there are people that do get this virus and show limited or no symptoms. We would never test those with sure. the throat swab or the nose swab. So you can test those people, and they then. Maybe they didn't have any symptoms, but maybe we know they did have it so they can go back into the workforce. Uh, perhaps these are people that can be identified that have it and you can use some of their blood and some of their plasma to mm. help people who are really sick with COVID-19. It will better help us give an idea of how much COVID-19 is in the community so you can actually better determine what the real fatality rates are. But the big thing is, and this is where Governor Walls was talking about it the other day, is for policymakers, it gives them a better idea of perhaps when can people go back to work? Sure. When can we start opening up rest restaurants? Who are the people that, if they're immune to this, even for a short period of time, can go into the hospitals and help patients? How are you going to do wide scale blood testing, though? I mean, to get this done? It's a hard thing to do. There are probably dozens, I don't want to go to the hospital right, to take there are a blood dozens test. of um, things right that, out there on the market. But what's happening at Mayo is Mayo is testing a lot of these tests that currently exist. They have come up with one test. They do expect to release it sometime next week. They're not going to release it for the full scale public, though, because you mentioned the logistics of that right now would be very challenging. Yeah. But they say you have to have a reason for having that. A reason for having that down in Mayo could be that you need to test the healthcare workers to see uh, who should go to work and who shouldn't sure. go to work. So I anticipate we're going to hear a lot more about these antibody tests in the next couple of weeks as we continue to fight this. Yeah, super interesting. Yeah, cool. it is. Thanks, Heather.